hello friends today we are having topic on image segmentation this is Sachin Kumar Saxena assistant professor computer science department we are having image segmentation and thresholding topic from unit 4 this topic says what is image segmentation segmentation divides an image into its constituent parts or objects level of subdivision depends on the problem being solved segmentation stops when objects of interest in an application have been isolated for example for an air to ground target acquisition system interest may lie in identifying vehicles on a road which means segmentation the road from the image we can divide any image from its road then no need to blow this level or segmentation outside Dream. the road we can also understand autonomous segmentation is one of the most difficult task in image processing largely determines the eventual failure or success of the process segmentation algorithms for monochrome images are based on one of two basic properties of gray level values we already know what is gray level which is we having value 0 to 255 values that is discontinuity similarity for discontinuity discontinuity the approach is to partition an image based on abrupt changes in gray level the principal areas of interest are detection of isolated points detection of lines and edges in an we can say for similarity the principal approaches are based on thresholding which is the uh, smallest or a particular value which is divided uh, into two parts suppose we are having value alpha that is below and above the value of any uh, image then we are having region growing region splitting we can divide any image from the certain images certain boundary and certain lines we can have certain attributes of an image also merging any two images merging the properties of the images can also the principal approach for image segmentation using this continuity and similarity of gray level pixel values is applicable to both static and dynamic with varying for the time being images for dynamic image the concept of motion can be exploited in the segmentation yes. Discontinuity detection says detecting discontinuity points, lines and edges is generally accomplished by mask processing. Now we understand what is mask processing. Mask processing says the following equation can divide into the weights and the z factor that is w1 z1 plus w2 z2 plus w3 z3 and so on up to it can be summarized at wi zi summation from i to k which is the radial factor a mask used for detecting isolated points different from a constant background would be the uh, matrix which is defined now isolated point detection detection of isolated points is accomplished by using the previous mask which is divided into into the following segmentation an isolated point is de detected if the response of the mask is greater than a predetermined threshold r the mod of r should be greater than t this measures the weighted difference between a center point and its neighbors the mask is the same as the high frequency filtering mask we can have various varieties of filtering mask also the emphasis here is on the detection of points only differences are large enough to be considered isolated points in an image are rest now we are having different matrix that is line detection would involve the application of several mass that is the threshold value in the creation of mass the intent is to form a set of different matrix that will respond to one pixel thick line in a given orientation that is horizontal vertical plus 45 degree angle 
minus 45 degrees and so on. Line detection can understood by can be understood by with a constant background. The maximum response occurs when the line is lined up with the center of the matrix. Note that the preferred direction of each mask is weighted with a large coefficient than other possible directions. Let R1, R2, R3, and R4 denote the responses of the mask, which is defined in the previous slide. That is the W1 and R1. If at a certain point in the image R i is greater than R j for all values which are not equal to i, and i is not equal to j, that point is said to be more likely associated with a line in the direction of I. mass. We can have edge detection for various kind of images like edge detection is by far the most common approach for detecting discontinuous in gray levels which is having value 0 to 255. Isolated points and one pixel thin lines are not common in most practical applications like the satellite images, the more uh, thin images, the zoom images of any biomedical fields etc. Basic formulations and initial assumptions can be written as and as is a boundary between two regions with relatively distinct gray level properties. Regions are sufficiently homogeneous so that the transition between the regions can be determined on the basis of gray level discontinuities alone. It this is not valid, some other techniques will be used. The basic idea behind most edge detection techniques is the computation of a local derivative vector. We can understand from this given figure that the zero is intensity profile and first derivative can be defined by the differentiation of the function given that is derived for edge detection and the second derivative can be understood by the slope of the function which yeah. is defined. Now gradient operators can also find out by the first derivative at any point in an image is computed using the magnitude of the gradient that is delta f is equal to gx gf that is delta f divided by delta x delta f divided by delta y is for gf now where the magnitude is delta f is equal to magnitude delta f gx square plus gy square that is the hamiltonian's uh, distance for any two points which can be understood almost equal to mod of gx addition with mod of gy the direction of the gradient vector is the angle alpha x comma y given y alpha x y is equal to 10 inverse g y upon g x that is denominator upon numerator so it is defined from the given matrix two dimension to cross one matrix that denominator upon numerator division can be find out as the certain angle of any two images the gradient operators can also understood by the derivatives may be digitally implemented in several ways but the Sobel operators are commonly chosen as they provide both a differencing and a smoothing the smoothing is advantages as derivative operators enhance noise the gradient and computations using Sobel operators is given by gx and gy the certain values of z1 and z9 are differentiation from each other with the help of following met the laplacian factor of any image can also be find out by 3 cross 3 mass the most common form is delta square f is equal to 4 z5 minus the basic requirement for the digital Laplacian is that the center coefficient be positive. The Laplacian can also explain or illustrate it in the following manner. Although the Laplacian responds to changes in intensity, it's uh, seldom used in as detection for several reasons. As a second derivative operator, it's typically unacceptably sensitive to noise 
the Laplacian produces double edges unable to detect direction as such the Laplacian is used in the secondary role of detector for establishing whether a pixel is on the light or dark side of an edge that is the value of a will tend towards 0 or tend towards 255 value a more general use of Laplacian is to find the location of edges using the zero crossing property basic idea is to convolve an image with the Laplacian of a 2D Gaussian function in the format of exponential minus x square plus y square upon 2 sigma square standard deviation which can be said as r square is equal to x square plus y square then the Laplacian is then r square minus delta square upon delta 4 exponential minus r square upon delta 2 square examples can be understood by the following figures original image involved with the Laplacian and the original image without the Laplacian can be seen on the left hand side of the slide thresholding the convolved image to yield a binary image which is having either the value of 0 or the value of 1 no value in between 0 and 1 that is the range of 255 to 0 does not fit here or does not apply here it is having binary image means having two color only that is 0 or 1 0 crossing image can be defined now thresholding, thresholding can be understood suppose an image fxy is composed of several light objects on a dark background the histogram for such an image may look like the following showing two dominant modes an obvious way to extract, extract object information is to select a threshold t that separate values suppose several objects that different gray level with a dark comprise the image which is having fxy greater than t2 the range must be in between t1 to t2 threshold value can be understood by gxy that is 1 or 0 if function is having greater than capital T then the gray scale is having 1 if it equal to or less than T then it is having value 0 which means we are supposed to convert into the binary values pixel level 1 or any other convenient gray level value on objects when T depends only on fxy the threshold is called global a dyna dynamic threshold may be used in this case where object elimination uniform important aspect of threshold selection the ability to reliability identify mode peaks in a given histogram the following peaks modes are defined below tall narrow symmetric and separated by deep value. now boundary characteristic threshold value by changing pixels on or near objects boundaries using pixels that satisfy some simple measures based on the gradient and Laplacian operators tend to deepen the value between peaks the function can be defined as gradient and Laplacian a three level image may be formed according to the zero plus and minus these are three distinct gray levels for a dark object on a light background is produced where all pixels not on an edge are labeled 0, dark side on an edge are labeled plus and light side of an edge are labeled minus. So similarly we are having dark side edge can be labeled as minus and the light side on edge are labeled plus if it have light object on a dark. Down. Thank you very much next slide will be reduced very soon